The Junior RTC, uh, we affect today about 125,000 kids literally around the world. If we can somehow work on their character, their leadership skills, their citizenship, their desire to, to give back to our country as a whole, we're just, those are soft skills that everybody wants, so we're being able to add to that. Graduate from high school, become a productive citizen, and oh, by the way, if that's on a career path into the Air Force, fantastic. Uh, we're not looking for 100% of the kids that come into junior to end up joining the military. We are focused on leadership, character development. To me, one of the coolest stories in that regard is I went to a unit up in the Baltimore area, and when we visit the unit and inspect them, we ask every unit for their sophomores to do a 30-step drill sequence. So the sample is the same around the world. This particular day, the instructor said, Colonel Lewis, come with me, and he brought me in the gym. The kids were already kind of milling around, and he said, I want you to stand on this spot. I'm like, okay. He had, literally had two X's on the ground. I'm like, okay, I'll stand on this spot. It was like being on a movie set or something. So I stood there, and the kids basically started gathering around, and there was a young man in front of them who brought the formation to attention, um, got him set up just the way he's supposed to, he did a perfect 180, popped a salute, served permission into the, the drill pad, permission granted, and he executed this lawless 30-step drill sequence. Stopped dead in front of me, turned around, popped this perfect salute, permission to depart the drill pad, permission granted. As I'm doing all that, the senior member of the team there leaned over and he said, Colonel Lewis, that young man is blind. And he had done that entire thing blind. So man, chills even right now. I was just, then my radar's on, I'm a pilot, I sort of pride myself on that kind of thing. Blew my mind and I started paying attention and I noticed that wherever he went, he had a cadet in front of him that was talking. He had a cadet behind him, so he had a trailblazer and I watched him, he was kind of counting steps. But the level of effort that went into that moment in time and that meant those kids would love that young man. Um, all the practice they had to go through to make sure he was able to do it blind. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that young man, the blind young man, obviously got a lot out of it, but there's no doubt that those other kids that were in that program got way more out of it than the young man that was blind. It's about taking care of people.